So we are going to start with solids. Now we are doing the sums from the book only. So first sum, draw the top view and front view of a cube of 35 mm base, edges resting on, on, on its faces on HP and two of its vertical faces are parallel to VP. Now see, again, what I will do, I will draw first HP VP. So this is horizontal plane, this is vertical plane. So it's a cube. So I'll just change the color. Okay. So this is cube, which is resting like this. It is resting on, they have said, the cube uh, resting on one of its faces on HP. So this is the face, you know, this. It is resting on this, right? On horizontal plane. And two of its vertical faces are parallel to VP. So if you see these, this and this are parallel to VP. If I want to say, I can say these two are perpendicular to VP. So this sum can be asked like this K, two sides are parallel to VP and two vertical faces are perpendicular to VP. But in this, since he has said parallel to VP, we'll go with this. This is parallel to VP. So what we will do first, First, I will draw XY line. Sorry. First, we'll draw XY line. Now, square we will draw like this. It's a cube, so all sides are same. The side of the square is 35. So, you'll take 35 like this. And the height will be also 35. So, this is how it will come. If you want to name, you can name this is front view and top view and observer is watching it from here. So this is our first sum. Now we'll go with the next sum. Now in next sum it says draw the top view and front view of a square prism of 35 mm base edges and 50 mm vertical height standing on HP on its base with two of its vertical rectangular face parallel to VP. So again, first we'll start with HP VP. We'll draw horizontal plane, vertical plane. See, we are doing right now first angle. This is vertical plane. This is horizontal plane, square prism. All of you know what is square prism? Square prism is like this. It is square at the top as well as at the bottom and it is joined by four rectangular surfaces. Now what he is saying that it is standing on HP on its base. So that means it is standing on its base like this. On this it is standing. So if I want to draw, I can draw prism like this, square prism. I can keep it anyhow, but I'm just assuming that it is like this. And if I read further, they have said two of its vertical rectangular faces are parallel to VP. Again, same. These are the rectangular faces. Right? Uh, wait. This is the behind one, which you won't be able to see. So imagine this behind portion. So this rectangular surface and this rectangular surface, which is behind, it is parallel to VP. So if I want to draw the sum, what I will do, I will draw a horizontal line. I will draw a square. So always remember, whenever they say it is resting on its base on HP, so axis is perpendicular to horizontal plane. So top view will give you true shape. So that's why I'm starting with top view. You may wonder why I'm starting with always top view because when they say it is resting on its base on HP, axis is perpendicular to HP. This is axis. So top view will give you true shape. So we'll draw it like this. Now why I'm drawing like this? Because they have said two, two of its uh, vertical, uh, they have said two of its vertical rectangular faces are parallel to VP. So these two are faces which are parallel to VP. Now, if I say parallel to VP, is it parallel to XY? Yes. 
So always remember your XY line is only HP as well as VP. Don't get confused. And don't go that above, above part is HP, lower part is VP. Don't do that. Your just XY line is HP as well as VP. So whatever they have said, that two, two faces are parallel to VP. So then two faces are parallel to XY. That way you can draw. This is front view. This is top view. This is how you will draw. And the side is 35. Now we'll start with the third sum. Just give me a minute. So we'll start with the third sum. Draw the top view and front view of a pentagonal prism of side 30 and axis height 50 with one of its vertical rectangular face in front and parallel to VP and its base is resting on HP. Okay. Again, we'll start with HP VP. So what I need to do, I need to draw pentagonal prism. All of you know what is pentagonal prism? It's a pentagon at the top. All these are rectangular surfaces, right? It is resting on its base. That means it is resting on its base like this. See this, it is resting on its base. This is the base, right? So what we will do, first we will draw pentagon and what they have said, uh, one of its vertical rectangular face, one of its rectangular face, this face, let, let, let me take this face, this face is parallel to VP and in front of VP. So that means this rectangular face is here, it is parallel to VP and in front of VP, in front of VP, uh, it's this, observer is watching it from here. So when I'm drawing, this is what I'm drawing. So I hope all of you understood. This is how the pentagon is. So the, the blue part is the side which is parallel to VP. This is parallel to VP and in front of VP. Now you may argue that, sir, it can be this way also. The other way around, if I keep it like this, this is also a possibility. So both the answers are right. But in exam, they may give you extra information. That I'll explain when I'm drawing the sum, I'll explain. So if I'm drawing like this, I will draw a pentagon in top view because X is perpendicular to HP. So this is how pentagon will come. Just ignore my accuracy. I'm doing it freehand. Wait, I'll try. Okay, this is pentagon. This is how it will come. And this is how it will look in front view. Now, let's say if I name pentagon, this is A, B, C, D, E. There are five edges. When you, when you see from here, when observer will see from here, he can see A, he can see B, he can see C, he can see D. He can't see E. Why? Because it is inside. So the E one will be dotted. The B one will be dark. Wait. This will be dark and this will be dark. So this is how it will come. This is A dash, B dash, E dash, C dash, D dash. So this is how it will come. Uh, height is 50 and this base is how much? 30, 30. This is front view. This is one of the possibility. See what they've said that one of its rectangular face is in front in front and parallel to VP. So this is correct. So this is that face. Now, if I draw like this, if I draw like this, then also it is correct. If I draw like this, A, B, C, D, E. Now what, what will happen here? 
see whatever is in front of you, I'll write dash. A dash, C dash will be dark. B dash will be dark. Now this E dash is dotted. This D dash is dotted. Why? Because when observer will see from here, he can't see this. So the basic idea is you smile. When you smile, you can see A, B, C. You can't see D and E. So that's why it is dotted. Same here also. Same funda. So this is a very important funda. If you smile, you'll get it. Dark dotted. Now, what I was trying to say that both these answers are right. If I want to be very accurate, then I will say that one of the edge, which is in front of VP, that is nearer to observer. Observer is here. So when I say nearer to the observer, this is right. And away from VP. This is your VP, right? So it is away from VP, nearer to the observer. And if I want to say this, then I'll say this edge is nearer to VP and away from observer. So that way you can differentiate. But for this sum, both are right. Now we'll do the fourth sum. So I'll erase this. Okay, we'll start with the next sum, which is fourth sum. An equilateral triangular prism, base side 35 mm and height 45 mm is resting on its base on the horizontal plane with rectangular face parallel to VP and closer to the observer. Now see, draw its front view and top view. So we have studied this in the previous sum, this concept closer to the observer. So I will draw HPVP. Now they are talking about triangular prism. Uh, triangular prism will be like this. It will have triangle at the top as well as at the bottom and joined by three rectangular faces. So what they are saying that one of, uh, one of the face is parallel to VP. So let's say this face is parallel to VP and it is nearer to the observer. So when you will draw, it is like this. So if you see this part, this part is parallel to VP. And it is away from VP, nearer to the observer. Observer is watching it from here. So when you will draw, how will you draw? You will draw one XY line. You will draw a triangle. And in front view, you'll have like this. Why this is dotted? Same concept, smile. When you see from here, you can't see this. So this is A, B, and C. So A dash, C dash, B dash. Now at times people, they get confused from where to start. Always start with the true shape. That means triangle, pentagon, hexagon, square. So in this, we are starting with triangle. We are drawing 35. Then we are taking height, 45. This is front view, this is top view. So we are done with fourth sum. Now we'll start with the fifth one. Okay, so the fifth one, it says an equilateral triangular prism of base edges 35 mm and height 45 mm is resting on one of its triangular ends on the HP, that means on the base. And, and a rectangular face towards the left, that means that rectangular face is towards the left and it is perpendicular to VP. 
So we'll draw HPVP first. All of you know what is triangular prism. Now, what he's trying to say that this is a triangular prism and this is that rectangular face which is on the left. If you are an observer, so this is your left, right? So the left side is perpendicular to VP. That means it is like this. Are you getting it? <clears throat> yeah. So just ignore this part. This is that part which is perpendicular to VP. So what, what will happen? So when you're drawing it, you draw XY. You draw triangle like this because perpendicular to VP. Let, let's say if you haven't understood this, I can still give you one shortcut. Perpendicular to VP, that means perpendicular to H, uh, XY. See this? Here it is XY. So this you should keep in mind. And this is front view. This is top view. This is how it will come. And you can find the midpoint of all the sides and you can mark axis. Got it? This is how it looks. This is A, B, C. This is A dash, C dash, B dash. Height is 45. And this is 35. So this is how you should draw. One side is perpendicular to VP. So this side, so they are talking about this side. They have said, no? That perpendicular to VP and it is towards the left. So that is on the left side. I could have done it this way also. This way also it would have been right. But since he has said it is on the left, so that's why this is appropriate. This is on right side. So remember, wait. So this is the correct answer. Now we'll go for the next one. We are done with five sum. Now we'll do the sixth one. Okay, for sixth one, they have given an equilateral triangular prism, base side th th 30 mm and height 45 mm is resting on its base on the horizontal plane and the rectangular face making 45 degree with VP towards the left. Draw its front view and top view. So how will you start? So first you will draw XY line. Okay, first I'll explain you with HPV. Again, triangular prism. But now, see, earlier one of the side was parallel to VP. Then one of the side is perpendicular to VP. Now one side is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So that means your triangular prism will have some inclination. The edge will have some inclination with vertical plane. So that is 45 degree. So this is what they want. See, in the very first sum, it was parallel. Right? Then later on, in the last sum, we saw it was perpendicular. Now it is inclined. This part, this edge is inclined. So when you will draw, uh, so this part, which is like this, so this, this part is inclined at 45 degrees. So how will you draw? So what we will do first, first we will draw XY line. Then I will draw one 45 degree line, random distance. Then I will cut 30 on it. And I will draw triangle. So this is how you will mark. You will draw 30. From here you cut. Cut. All of you know how to draw triangle. So this is how your triangle will come. Right? This is A, B, and C. And when you project this line straight up, this is how you will get. And this part, see, again, see, when you smile, you can't see C part, right? So that's why that C is dotted. This is where people, they get confused, dark dotted. So remember, we are doing first quadrant. In first quadrant, observer is away from the object. So observer is here. 
So he's watching it from here. So he can see A and B. He can't see C. So that's why C is dotted. So this is how it will come. This height is 45. And this is 30. So this is how we will draw. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four. Six sums are done. Now we'll do the seventh one. Now, in the seven sum, they have mentioned uh, an equilateral triangular prism, base side 30 mm and height 45 mm is having its longer edge vertical that is perpendicular to HP. And the base side parallel to VP and closer to it. Draw its front view and top view. Right, an equilateral triangular prism of base so and so height so and so is is having its longer edge vertical and a base base side parallel to VP. So what they are trying to say? Actually, they have made it the uh, same sum complicated. At times, these people they don't know what they are talking. It's okay, ignore. This is as good as triangular prism with one of its, what he means to say over here, but having its longer edges, longer edges. These are the longer edges, right? Vertical. These are the longer edges, which is vertical, which is perpendicular to HP. So it is understood, no? it is straight like this. These are the longer edges compared to one, two, three. Well, in this triangle and this, the, uh, the, these are the longer edges. So he's saying that these are the longer edges which are perpendicular to perpendicular to HP and a base side parallel to VP. So this is the base. Base side is parallel to VP. So this is the side. Right? So I would still say that this is the same somewhere a triangular prism is resting on its base on HP with axis perpendicular to HP and one of its side is parallel to VP and nearer to VP. Over here, they have said closer to it. So the actual word should be nearer to VP, parallel to VP and nearer to VP. So it will be this way. And here, all three will be dark because we can see A, B, and C. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash. So this is 45. And this is 30. This is top view. And this is front view. Now we'll do sum number 8. I'll erase this. Okay, so in sum number eight, a regular pentagonal prism, base edge 25 mm and height 40 mm is having a rectangular face perpendicular to VP and the base resting on HP. Draw its front view and top view. So here again, they are talking about pentagonal prism. I will draw HP VP first. Now what they are saying that having a rectangular face perpendicular to VP. So if this is a pentagonal prism, then this is that rectangular part, which is perpendicular to VP, right? And it is resting on its base on HP. So it is this way. So this is, this is that part, the pentagon part. This is that, and this way it is. So what we will do? 
will draw xy line. So whenever they say perpendicular to VP, that is perpendicular to xy. So you draw a pentagon like this, where one side, this side is perpendicular to xy. And you draw a pentagon. This is how it will come. This is A, B, C, D, E. This is A dash, E dash, B dash, D dash, C dash. This is front view. This is top view. And this is 40. And this is 25. Now we'll do sum number 9. So here also, if you want to see, uh, observer is watching it from here. So this side is perpendicular to VP, perpendicular to XY. So remember that. Now we'll do the next one, some number. Um, nine, sum number nine. A square prism of base th th 30 mm and height 40 mm is resting on its base on the ground. They have said HP and a rectangular face making 60 degree with VP. Draw towards the left. Draw front view and top view. So we'll draw HPVP first. See, in exam, you don't have to draw HPVP. This is only for your understanding I'm drawing. They are, they are, they are saying that there is one square prism like this. So I'm just drawing a square prism. And they say that okay, this square prism, one of the side is inclined at 60 degree to VP. So this side is inclined at 60 degree to VP. So this is how that side is. The rest all would be this way. This is what I'm showing. So this side is inclined at 60 degree to VP. So when you're drawing it, what you will do? You'll draw XY. You'll draw 60 degree. I'll go with different color. Wait. You draw 60 degree. And then you mark side of the square, which is 30. And this is 60, then this is 30. Remember that. If this is 60, then this line will be inclined at 30 degree. This is how you will draw square. This is A, B, C, and D. And it is on the left side. They have said that a rectangular face making 60 degree with VP towards the left. And when I will take this up, this is how it will come. The B1 is dark and the D1 is dotted. So this is how it will come. This is A dash, B dash, D dash, C dash. So this is front view and this is top view. All of you got this? Now we'll do the next one. Sum number 10 or 11, I think. It's very difficult for me to now keep those counts. Okay, well, it's a hexagonal prism sum. So in this sum, a regular hexagonal prism of base 25 mm and height 40, uh, 45 mm is resting on one of its hexagonal end. That means it is resting on its base on HP with two of its opposite rectangular face parallel to VP. That means parallel to XY line. Draw front view and top view. So first we'll see what is hexagonal prism, how it looks like. Hexagonal prism looks like this. This is a hexagonal prism. This side and this side is parallel to VP. You know, these two opposite sides are parallel to V. It is resting on its base. So when you are drawing it, see, these two sides are parallel to V. And this is how it will come. So when you draw, 
this side is parallel to V series. Two sides are parallel to V2. So what will happen when you draw this is your XY. This is how you draw. Parallel to VP, that means parallel to XY. So your hexagon will look like this. Front view would be like this. You'll do naming A, B, C, D, E, and F. This is A dash, D dash. B and C will be dark because when you see observer, when he will see from here, he can see B and C. And in this case, C and E, B and F will coincide. So it will be dark only. So this is how you will draw front view top view. So I hope all of you understood this. Now we'll go for the next one. Next one is again hexagonal prism. Okay. So I'll erase this. Okay. Now a hexagonal, a regular hexagonal prism, side 20 mm and height 45 mm is having a rectangular face perpendicular to VP and one of its hexagonal ends resting on HP. That means it is resting on its base on HP and two of its rectangular face are perpendicular to VP. So all of you know how the hexagonal prism looks like. I'll just draw it again over here. So what they are saying that this, this part, this hexagonal prism, this part is perpendicular to VP. So all of you know, perpendicular to VP, that is perpendicular to XY. I'll draw this with different colors. So you know, they are talking about this part. And, uh, you know, there'll be one more rectangular face. So these two are perpendicular. So when you're drawing it, first you draw XY, take side. This is how hexagon will look like. And this is how, oh, this is wrong. What I'm doing is wrong. <laughs> okay. This, when two sides are parallel to VP, but in our sum, they have said two sides are perpendicular to VP. So it will be this way. I just, it's good I did it this, that way. So now you know the difference. The earlier sum, two sides are parallel to VP, right? And this two sides are perpendicular to VP. So this is the correct sum. This is how it will look like. You can do naming A, B, C, D, E, F. A and F will coincide. B and E will coincide and C and D will coincide. So this is front view. This is top view. This is 45 and this is 25. This is how it will look like. Okay, so we are done with prism, all the possibilities of prism. Thank you.